In this video, I will share some tips for using Desmos.com for make these designs, which is part of lesson five from unit two on slope intercept form. So you are to choose at least four designs to create using www.desmos.com. After you have created the design, you will take a snapshot of your design and add it to the correct slide. After you finish, you will choose one of the following pairs to describe the similarities and differences. So these are your different designs that you will create. As you can see, the reason why this is in the lesson on slope intercept form is because the students have to have a good understanding of slope and y intercept in order to replicate what these designs would look like. If you notice on the x-axis it goes from a negative 7 to a positive 7 and on the y-axis it goes from a negative 7 to a positive 7. So before you create your design in Desmos, it is best if you set those parameters and I will show you how to do so. So here are some of the designs that you can choose from. In once we transfer over to the Desmos site, I will um, be using G as an example. When we go to Desmos, you're going to click Start Graphing. And the first thing I'm going to do is change these settings so that my x-axis will go from a negative 7 to a positive 7, and then my y-axis will go from a negative 7 to a positive 7. So I do this by clicking the Graph Settings button. So I'm going to change this to a negative 7 to positive 7 with a step of 1. Do the same on the y-axis, the step of one, and then I'm going to click off of this minor grid lines. And now that looks similar to the viewing window of the design in the Google slide. So now I'm going to begin creating my graph. I'm going to may spend some time studying it to see if my slope is appropriate and my y-intercepts are appropriate. I could do some on the other side as well with positive y-intercepts. To change so that all of my colors are uniform, if I click this button here, this gear, I can now change my colors. So let's say I want to change them all to red. And click the ones that are not red and change those to red. When I'm done, I just click done. Now I'm ready to export my image so that I can then add it to my slide. So I'm going to click share graph and I'm going to click where it says export image. This medium square is the right size that you will need so that it will have the correct viewing window and then I'm just going to download my image. Now when I'm here and I open up my Google slide I can drag that image in and I'm going to paste it to the correct slide. And then the last thing I would do is I would add a little text box with my name so that I know who has created what graph. And then when you see the slide there, now you can see that my design is on the way to looking like the original.